In the blink of an eye, every five seconds, a person develops diabetes worldwide. The sheer magnitude of this public health issue is staggering and the implications are severe. You see, diabetes isn't just about high blood sugar, it's about the body's inability to manage that sugar due to insufficient or ineffective insulin, a hormone that plays a crucial role in our bodies. Insulin is the gatekeeper, allowing glucose from our food into our cells to be used as energy. However, when insulin resistance develops, the body's cells don't respond as well to insulin. They struggle to let glucose in, leading to higher levels of sugar in the blood. This is the heartbreaking reality of diabetes. Insulin resistance is a significant factor in developing type 2 diabetes. But there's good news, you can improve your insulin sensitivity. Stick with us and we'll uncover how you can take control of your health and increase your insulin sensitivity. What is insulin sensitivity? Why is it so important to our health? These are the questions that we're going to delve into in this segment. Insulin sensitivity, in essence, refers to how responsive your body is to the effects of insulin, a hormone that plays a crucial role in our body's metabolism. The more sensitive your body is to insulin, the less of it you need to keep your blood sugar levels in check. Now, why is this so important? Well, think of insulin as a key. It unlocks the doors to our cells, allowing glucose, our body's primary energy source, to enter. When your body is insulin sensitive, less insulin is required to unlock these doors, so glucose can efficiently enter our cells. This efficient process keeps our blood sugar levels stable, ensuring we have a steady supply of energy. However, if your body becomes less sensitive to insulin, more insulin is needed to let the same amount of glucose into the cells. This condition is often termed insulin resistance, and it can lead to higher levels of insulin in the blood. Over time, the excess insulin can't compensate for the decreased sensitivity, and blood sugar levels begin to rise, setting the stage for type 2 diabetes. Increasing insulin sensitivity, therefore, becomes key in maintaining stable blood sugar levels. It helps your body do a better job at processing glucose and prevents excess insulin from building up in your blood. In other words, it keeps the metabolic engine running smoothly, reducing your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So, how can we increase our body's sensitivity to insulin? The answer lies in our diet, physical activity, and lifestyle choices, which we'll explore in the coming segments. By increasing insulin sensitivity, you can help your body better regulate blood sugar levels and reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes. Understanding insulin sensitivity is the first step in taking control of your health. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into this topic in the next segment. What you eat significantly affects your insulin sensitivity. Now let's dive into the world of food. Picture a colorful spread of fresh fruits, veggies, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods are not only delicious but they also work wonders for your insulin sensitivity. Whole foods, for instance, are packed with essential nutrients that aid in maintaining a balanced blood sugar level. These foods are unprocessed and unrefined, and they come directly from nature. Think fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. They are high in fiber which slows down the release of sugar into your bloodstream, helping to prevent spikes in blood sugar levels. Now imagine a fiber-rich diet. Dietary fiber, especially soluble fiber, can slow the absorption of sugar and help improve your blood sugar levels. A diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains is a great way to increase your fiber intake. And let's not forget about lean proteins. Foods like fish, poultry, beans, and nuts are excellent sources of lean protein. These foods require more energy to digest, which can help regulate your blood sugar levels and increase insulin sensitivity. On the flip side, there are certain foods that can negatively impact your insulin sensitivity. Picture a bag of chips, a can of soda, or a fast food burger. Processed foods like these are often high in unhealthy fats and sugars. Consuming these regularly can lead to weight gain and decreased insulin sensitivity. Sugary drinks are another culprit. They can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels and have been linked to insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Unhealthy fats, such as trans and saturated fats found in processed foods, can also negatively impact insulin sensitivity. So, what's the takeaway here? It's simple. Make mindful food choices. Fill your plate with a colorful array of whole foods, fiber-rich foods, and lean proteins. Limit your intake of processed foods, sugary drinks, and unhealthy fats. Making mindful food choices can significantly increase insulin sensitivity and improve overall health. Move that body. Exercise is a powerful tool to increase insulin sensitivity. Now, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of how regular physical activity can have a positive impact on insulin sensitivity. Picture this. 
When you exercise, your muscles demand more glucose to fuel the effort. This demand triggers your cells to tap into those glucose reserves, thereby lowering the blood sugar levels. As a result, your body requires less insulin to manage the glucose in your blood. In simple words, regular exercise makes your body more efficient at using insulin. But you might wonder, what types of exercises are we talking about? Well, the good news is there's a variety to choose from, and each type has its own unique benefits. Let's start with resistance training. This includes any exercise that causes the muscles to contract against an external resistance. Think weightlifting or using resistance bands. Resistance training not only builds strength and muscle mass, but also enhances insulin sensitivity as the glucose uptake by the muscles increases. Next, we have aerobic exercises. These are activities that increase your breathing and heart rate, like walking, cycling, or swimming. Aerobic exercises are not just great for your cardiovascular health, they also help boost your insulin sensitivity by improving your body's ability to use insulin and absorb glucose. Lastly, let's not forget about high-intensity interval training, also known as high height. This involves short bursts of intense exercise followed by periods of rest or lower-intensity exercise. high height has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity significantly in a relatively short amount of time. So, whether you're lifting weights, taking a brisk walk, or doing a height workout, remember that any physical activity is better than none. Find something you enjoy and make it a part of your routine. Regular exercise not only boosts insulin sensitivity, but also contributes to overall health and well-being. So let's get moving and make our bodies the best they can be. Our lifestyle choices go beyond diet and exercise when it comes to insulin sensitivity. Indeed, while diet and exercise are fundamental, several other factors play a crucial role. Let's dive into a few of them. First and foremost, sleep. We often underestimate the power of a good night's rest. However, inadequate sleep can disrupt our body's insulin regulation. When our sleep cycle is interrupted, our body produces hormones such as cortisol, which can lead to insulin resistance. So, ensure you're getting between 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night. Remember, it's not just about quantity, but also about quality. Next, stress management. In this fast-paced world, stress seems unavoidable. However, chronic stress can wreak havoc on our bodies. Stress triggers a fight-or-flight response, releasing hormones that raise blood sugar levels. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance. Therefore, managing stress is crucial. This could mean taking up yoga, practicing mindfulness, or simply taking a walk in nature. Find what works for you and incorporate it into your routine. Finally, let's talk about maintaining a healthy weight. Carrying excess weight, especially around the waist, can increase the risk of insulin resistance. This is because fat cells release inflammatory substances that can disrupt insulin signaling. Therefore, maintaining a healthy weight is key. This doesn't mean striving for a perfect number on the scale, but rather focusing on achieving a weight that is healthy for your individual body type and frame. In conclusion, by incorporating adequate sleep, stress management techniques, and maintaining a healthy weight, you can significantly impact your insulin sensitivity. It's not always easy, and it requires a holistic approach, but the benefits are worth it. You'll not only enhance your insulin sensitivity, but also improve your overall health and well-being. By managing these lifestyle factors, you can further enhance your insulin sensitivity and reduce your risk of diabetes. Let's recap the essential points about increasing insulin sensitivity. We've delved into the shocking reality of diabetes and how understanding insulin sensitivity is crucial to managing this condition. We've learned that diet plays a pivotal role. Consuming a balanced diet rich in fiber, lean proteins, and healthy fats can improve insulin sensitivity. Exercise, too, is vital. Regular physical activity, whether it's brisk walking, cycling, or strength training, can significantly enhance insulin sensitivity. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to exercise. We've also explored other lifestyle factors. Stress management techniques like meditation and yoga, along with a good night's sleep, can work wonders for your insulin sensitivity. In a nutshell, improving insulin sensitivity is about adopting a holistic approach that includes proper diet, regular exercise, and a balanced lifestyle. With the right strategies, you can improve your insulin sensitivity and take a proactive step towards a healthier life. Take control today for a healthier tomorrow.